good morning dear students in today's lecture we will discuss our second part which is electrolysis process we know that there are two important parts electrochemical part and the second one is electrolytic part so now now we will start our second important part in today's lecture first of all we will discuss the definition of our second part the definition is here the name of our second part is electrolysis process so the first question arises in our mind that what is electrolysis process so i will explain the definition of electrolysis with the proper example just see uh, in this figure we are taking here one important beaker and in this beaker molten nacl solution is filled up then anode and cathode both are the electrodes of this electrolysis process anode and cathode are electrode just see we will connect both this electrode with battery because now we will pass current in it we know that the principle of electrolysis is electrical energy convert into chemical energy while in electrochemical process chemical energy convert into electrical energy is it clear to all so we will pass current in all this both electrodes okay then what will happen we will explain it in our definition so the product will obtain just see the definition the product will obtain after passing current on electrolyte solution electrolyte aqueous solution of electrolyte or molten solution or molten electrolytes so the product will obtain after passing current on aqueous solution of electrolyte or molten electrolyte this process is known as electrolysis process so when we pass a current from electrolyte solution i think the question arises in your mind that what is electrolyte but this is very simple question a positive and negative ion if compound is polar then it is electrolyte and after addition of water positive and negative ion will ionized from electrolyte or from substance from compound it is known as electrolyte so in a simple words if a compound heavy positive and negative ion then it is known as electrolyte compound is it clear to all okay very good chal next point is here so the product will obtain after passing current on elect aqueous solution of electrolyte the chemical process will take place and the product will obtain this is known as electrolysis process is it clear so this is electrolyte uh this sorry this is electrolysis the definition of electrolysis now the next question is here that we will explain this electrolyte with again a new proper example just see explain electrolysis process of molten nacl two marks question asked in your board examinations molten nacl just say there are three types of nacl solution we will prepare three types of nacl solution the number 1 which is molten solution number 2 which is concentrated solution and number 3 it is dilute solution how can we prepare this three types of solution if we are discussing about concentrated solution that the parts or the amount of nacl is higher than water so amount of nacl is higher then it is concentrated solution if amount of water is higher then it is dilute solution and the amount of water 
or NaCl which is equivalent or if we will use the other solvent except water then this is molten NaCl is it clear molten equivalent amount concentrated solution NaCl is higher and dilute solution water is higher then these are the three types of solutions of NaCl so we are taking here molten NaCl just see what is the electrolysis process of molten NaCl when NaCl will ionize Na plus and Cl minus will produce because NaCl is a strong electrolyte after ionization of strong electrolyte uh, nearer to 100% ionization will possible so Na plus and Cl minus will obtain from electrolysis or ionization of sodium chloride so NaCl gives us Na plus and Cl minus now students I will give you a very short and important technique about this one just keep important point in your mind that always positive ion having reduction process will take place and each and every negative ion oxidation process will take place in negative ion and reduction process will take place in positive ion keep this important point in your mind we always positive ion ka reduction hota hai or negative ion ka oxidation hota hai ye apne dimag mein dal dijiye point isme koi mistake na ho maine shayad ye baat आपको जब फ्यूल सेल की बात कर रहा था तब मैंने थोड़े हिंट्स आपको दी हुई थी तो याद रखिए पॉजिटिव का ऑलवेज रिडक्शन होता है नेगेटिव का ऑलवेज ऑक्सीडेशन होता है ठीक है जस्ट सी सो इफ सोडियम आयन हैविंग रिडक्शन प्रोसेस सो रिडक्शन प्रोसेस विल टेक्स प्लेस ऑन कैथोड एंड ऑक्सीडेशन विल टेक्स प्लेस ऑन एनोड सो व्हिच टाइप ऑफ रिडक्शन प्रोसेस विल टेक्स प्लेस on cathode the sodium plus will gain one electron and it will convert into sodium sodium plus gain one electron convert into sodium is it clear jab sodium plus ka reduction hota hai sabhi students ko ye baat to malum hoti hi hai kyun yahan par sodium mil gaya then oxidation process dekhi yahan par cl minus after oxidation process of cl minus chlorine molecule will obtain from oxidation process and oxidation process will take place on anode cl minus one half cl2 plus electron so this is the process will take place from electrolysis of molten nacl so after just see after electrolysis of molten NaCl sodium and dichlorine will obtain after the chemical reaction clear देखिए यहाँ पर इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस प्रोसेस यहाँ पर हमारा हमारा जो प्रिंसिपल है वो कंसीडर हो गया व्हाट इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस प्रोसेस इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी कन्वर्ट इनटू केमिकल एनर्जी सो द विद द हेल्प ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन सोडियम मेटल एंड डाइक्लोरिन गैस विल ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम दिस केमिकल रिएक्शन सो दिस इज द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस प्रोसेस एंड वी आर एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस प्रिंसिपल with the help of a proper example which is molten NaCl so after electrolysis process of molten NaCl sodium as a solid form sodium in a solid form sodium metal and chlorine gas will obtain from the electrolysis of molten NaCl so the definition is here the product will obtain which type of product so product is here sodium and dichlorine after passing current and we will pass through a current on the electrodes because battery is connected with this and in aqueous solution of electrolyte which type of aqueous solution or uh, molten solution is here so this is molten NaCl so the after passing current 
on electrolyte solution or molten solution then product will obtain with the help of this type of chemical reaction this process is known as electrolytic process and this is the electrolysis and the instrument instrument which is used for this electrolysis process is known as electrolytic cell the instrument or the beaker the cell which is used for this process is electrolytic cell when we will pass a, uh, when we will go uh, from a chemical reaction or chemical energy to electrical energy at that time this cell was known as electrochemical cell and this cell is known as electrolytic cell okay students so aaj ka jo hamara lecture hai usme humne electrolysis ka example yahan par consider kiya hua hai aur abhi ye electrolysis ke example ke baad main aapke sath faraday's law consider karunga par wo bahut hi bada question hai bahut hi acha question hai usse hame special lecture leke उसको कंसीडर करना पड़ेगा पर आज के लिए इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस की डेफिनेशन और मोल्टन एनएसएल का इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस एग्जांपल के साथ हमने ये बात कंसीडर करके आज का लेक्चर हम यहां पर खत्म करने जा रहे हैं थैंक यू